Howdy guys and welcome to the how to make a pot cozy video. So for those of you that don't know, today's video is actually a part of my DIY club series of videos. And what that is, is a series of DIY projects that you can actually build right alongside me with the very same materials that I use with kits that I send you in the mail. If you haven't ordered a kit yet and you do want to build a pot cozy, you can head over to my site and I'll actually throw in a little promo code right here in the bottom there. And with that code you can get 25% off one of these pot cozy kits. A big thanks goes out to all the people that watched and commented on my DIY Club announcement video. And I know I said I'd give away one of these free kits. And I actually decided there's enough people interested that I'm going to give away two. So check the description of this video and if your name's there, send me your info and I'll send a kit your way. All right, let's get this started. So I'm gonna start the exact same way that you will if you order the kit. Of course, you can do this with your own Reflectix as well. You just kinda of have to cut the shapes that you need. So in the kit, you get that paper full of words. You get a smaller piece of Reflectix here from which you'll actually cut the tops and bottoms of the cozy. A roll of aluminum foil tape, 56 inches, and that will let you join everything and then a larger piece of Reflectix that actually will circle around to form the walls of the cozy. So this is kind of an end product shot. What we're looking for ultimately in a cozy, it contains the entire pot, the corners are well taped off and rounded off a bit. And if you open it up, you see the pot actually sits a little bit above the cozy. And you want that so you can actually drink out of the out of the pot if you're doing hot chocolate or tea or something like that. And the pot's still functional inside of the cozy. But then when you really want to insulate it, you can actually stick the lid on. And if you see here, you do want some space around the pot so that the handles can fit inside. If you have a spout like this pot, it gives it some room to wiggle. And I also like to store my windscreen on the outside of my pot, so I like my cozy to have a little bit of a gap there. As far as the lid, it should fit fairly snug so it doesn't fall off and you can actually carry the kit by the lid if you need to. So let's build one of these things. First step is going to be taking the entire piece of tape that I give you and folding it in half. And the reason we're doing this is to save weight on the build. There's really no reason to use the entire 2 inch wide piece of tape. so. You fold it in half and straighten it back out and then just cut right along that fold line to form two pieces of one inch tape. When I was prototyping this cozy, I found that the amount of aluminum foil tape you use actually affected the final weight pretty significantly. So the less you can use, the better. To start off, we're gonna use the smaller piece of Reflectix here to draw a top and bottom circle for our cozy. And the first number we're going to need here is the diameter of the bottom cozy, or the bottom part of the cozy. But as I mentioned earlier, you want it to have a little bit of a gap there. So what we're going to do is measure the top of whatever pot you're making the cozy for, and then add about 3 eighths of an inch onto that to give it some wiggle room and some room for the handles as well. And a windscreen if you store it there. You can see here, I measure it out. The pot width comes to about 4 inches, and then I'll add 3 eighths onto that and get a final diameter of 4 and 3 eighths, with which I will divide it in half to get the radius, and that will be 2 and 3 sixteenths. Then I'll just set that on the compass and use the compass to draw a circle onto my piece of Reflectix. Now for those of you that don't have a compass, you can either make one or you can just trace a loose circle around the top of the lid of the pot and then use that as the base for the bottom of the cozy. Now we just need to figure out the diameter of the top part of the cozy. For the top of the cozy, you want a lid that's going to fit snugly just barely over the cozy but actually tight enough that it'll stay gripped when it's inside your pack, when you pick it up and move it around. And to get that snugness, what we're going to do is take the diameter that we used for the bottom 
and just add an eighth of an inch to it. Then we'll divide that in two to get the radius. And we will use that radius to trace out another circle on the other side. I like to butt these circles up as close as I can to the edges of this piece of reflectix so that if you do make a mistake there should be room for one more circle in the middle of the reflectix just in case. Now I'm just going to cut out these two circles with some scissors. So let's get started on the bottom part of the cozy. And to do that we're going to need the smaller diameter circle and then we'll start to build a vertical wall for it. And to do that we're going to measure our pot, whichever one we're making it for, and come about a half inch short of the height of the pot just beneath the lip. And that'll give you some room when you're drinking tea and hot chocolate, stuff like that. So that brings it up to three inches. And then I'm just going to cut the sheet of Reflectix that is 22 inches long by 3 inches wide. Now I cut with a rotary cutter because it's really nice for long straight lines like this. I also use this square, this plastic square to guide me. So this is a 3 inch by 22 inch piece of Reflectix. Now I'm going to wrap it around my pot to size it up. Looks good. Then I'll actually wrap it around the circle to get the exact length of reflectix needed to wrap around it. Now you could calculate this by finding the circumference, but I found that it's actually a little easier to do it this way and it'll save you from having to cut twice. So you just roll it around, find where it meets up, and cut it. Now what we need to do is join the two ends of this vertical piece together so that it can be a solid circle. And to do that we're going to take a piece of our one inch wide tape and just kind of wrap it around the end here to get a good idea of length, giving it a little bit of a buffer zone so it'll have a little overlap, and then cutting that length of tape. And then I'll actually fold it in half just to get an idea of where to place the tape on one side of the piece of Reflectix. So then I'll place the tape on and actually bring the other side just touching the first side so that I can join them together flush. Then just wrap the tape around to the other side and make sure to line it up with itself so it's flush and just push it into the Reflectix to make sure that it has a good grip on the material. Now that we have the wall of the cozy built, we need to attach the bottom to form a little cup. And the way to do that is to measure out a length of tape equal to the circumference of the wall plus a little bit extra. I like to have about an inch of overlap on my tape. So then you're going to take this tape and fold it in half. But this time we're not actually going to cut it in half. We want to have the whole width of the tape. What we're going to do is make little one inch markings all along the edge of the tape. So mark out every inch or so like this and then what we're going to do along these markings is cut into the tape vertically just until you reach that halfway line just like this. And What this is going to give us is a piece of tape that we can wrap over the top of the pot where it's kind of circular and it's not going to create odd wrinkles it's going to create a flush fit. Now we're actually going to apply this piece of tape along the top edge of this wall of the cozy. And when you're taking the backing off of the tape, you really want to struggle for a good 10 minutes just to make sure it's worth the effort. Once you do have it, you want to be careful peeling it off just because you don't want to rip off the little tabs that you've created. And then you're just going to run this piece of tape right along that halfway mark along the top edge of the cozy wall. Then you'll wind up with something that looks like this. Now we just need to attach the bottom circle of the cozy to this wall. The best method I have found is to actually invert your pot 
stick the circle on top and then just pull the wall down around it until it's flush with the circle. Then all you need to do is push these little foil tabs over and I do it sequentially one at a time so you go around the perimeter and then you'll just kind of push on the inside of the pot to make sure it's all secure and you'll be good to go. You really want to get that tape nice and tight on there so it doesn't come off. So that is the bottom part of the cozy. All we have to do now is protect the lip of the cozy with another piece of tape. And just like last time, you take a perimeter of tape around the outside, leave a little room for overlap, create a halfway mark. We're not going to actually do any little folds or tabs this time. We're just going to peel the tape off, apply it around the edge of the cozy right along that halfway mark, and then just slowly roll that, e that tape over onto the inside edge of the cozy and mash it down onto the reflectix to secure the edge. There you go, we now have a bottom part of the cozy. And the cool thing is the top part of the cozy is made in pretty much the exact same way. So the only thing we really need to figure out is how tall we want that top lid to be so that it's secure. And as a good rule of thumb, I like to have about a half inch of overlap at least between the top and the bottom of the cozy, potentially a little more. And so given the height of this pot, so I measure it from the top of that handle there down to the edge. I think two inches is a pretty good number for this cozy. So I'm just going to cut a strip. And begin assembly. And this one is, like I said, very similar to the last build of the bottom of the cozy. So I'm just going to let the DIY noises take over from here. Now the best method I've found for attaching the top circle to the top part of the cozy is actually using the bottom part of the cozy that you just made, sticking the top circle onto the bottom of that, and then sliding the wall down around just like you did the first time on top of the pot, and folding those tabs in. Because the lid is such a tight fit under the bottom of the cozy, I like to bend the edge of it outwards just to give it a little flare and a little edge with which it can guide onto the bottom of the cozy. And on a new build, the edges of the cozy will tend to grip a little bit when you're pulling them apart, but that should smooth out with time. 
And that, my friends, is a finished cozy. Now, as far as fit and finish goes for this, you want a nice tight lid like this so it's not going to come undone when you're hiking around. And you want, like I said earlier, a little gap between the pot and the cozy just to allow room for windscreen storage and for handles of the pot. Now, some people like to have a little slot where their handles of their pot can come outside of the cozy when the cozy is on. And that is definitely doable with this model. All you have to do is kind of make a little cut right down where the handles come out. And then you'll just reinforce it with some of the extra tape you have left over. Just like you would the top edge of one of these sides of the cozy. And you'll have a slot for handles. Now I don't really like to do this because the cozy is overall much more efficient without these holes in it. And there's really no need to make them because the cozy stays cool enough that you can pick it up from the outside most of the time. Except when you first put the pot in there. But it is possible. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this DIY club project, and thanks a ton for sticking with me through the video. And for all of you that ordered kits, thank you so much for taking a chance on this idea with me, and I'm excited to see where it goes in the future. Also, I would really love to see what you create, so please share it, tag me in it on Instagram or on Facebook, I'd love to see what you make. Just for fun, this is the pot cozy of the legendary hiker Mihaf and it has survived the AT, the PCT, and the CDT with him.